Today we have a 2003 Chevy Malibu uh, putting a water pump in it. Uh, first thing I like to do is remove the coolant reservoir. It gives you easier access to the pump. Uh, next thing you can do is go ahead and take the serpentine belt off. You can use a serpentine belt tool or if you have a long ratchet it just uses a 3 8 square in the tensioner. Pull the belt off. Then you want to get the water pump pulley off of there. Uh, trick you can use the, where you don't need a, a tool to get in those little holes. Is you can just take, take a screwdriver and then a 10 mil and just loosen, loosen each one of those. Once you have all the bolts loose and pull them out, you just pull the pulley right off of there and then you'll see uh, the rest of the bolts you need to take off to replace the water pump. There are five of these 8 millimeter bolts that you'll need to take out. Once you have them out, then you can uh, pry the water pump off of it. You see a couple little tabs, you can just take your pry bar. Pry on it in a couple places, and it comes right off. Now the most critical part of any water pump job is making sure this surface is uh, clean and smooth uh, for the new gasket uh, to sit on there and seal properly. You can use a gasket scraper. Uh, they uh, sell some uh, material you can spray on there that kind of uh, eats it away. Uh, I like to use a little rubber tipped uh, uh, grinder. Uh, it's it's so, uh, soft, soft enough that it's not going to damage it. Now once you're confident you have this mating surface nice and clean, you're ready for your gasket. Uh, now this one just comes with a paper gasket. Uh, whenever I get a paper gasket I like to use a little RTV or a uh, form in place gasket. Uh, to what I've found that works the best on water pumps and coolant and oil is a Toyota FIPG. Uh, it just does a wonderful job of uh, sealing up uh, any, any leaks you may have or and preventing any uh, future leaks. Now once you've lightly coated the gasket with RTV or form in place gasket, uh, you can then place the water pump gasket onto the water pump and then uh, put the water pump in place. Now when installing the new water pump, you'll see an arrow at the, on the pump. You want to make sure that's facing up and that, that'll be on the top. You can see it here on the old one as well. Uh, so you want to make sure you orient that properly, otherwise it's not going to line up and fit right. Well, once you get that far, you can put your pulley back on, put your belt back on, put the reservoir back in, add coolant, let it warm up, make sure you get all the bubbles out, uh, check for leaks, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.